What's up, everybody? Dang, it's been a while. <laughs> Hi, been, friends. I haven't been on screen in a long time. Hi, friends. I know people miss you. They're like, did you and Carlos break up? Um, no. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We, no, you go ahead. No, you go ahead. Get the one with the most mushrooms. Because okay. I'm picking all the mushrooms out. Give me the mushrooms, okay? Okay, here. Hi, guys. Today, we have... I wash my hands. They're not dirty. <laughs> Today, we're having Pizza Hut pizza. Um, let's tell our friends what we got. We got stuffed crust, my absolute favorite. You guys, stuffed crust is so good. On top of the pizza, we literally put everything because we were so hungry. We have mushrooms, peppers, sausage, chicken, ham, pineapple. We have some cheese, breadsticks. We have some uh, buffalo mild wings, mm. fries. Pizza fries are so good. And then for dessert, we have some cinnamon sticks. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Ooh, let me get my water. Mm. You want water, babe? Yeah, that's nice. I have Coke or soda, but I can get us water. Yeah, that'd be nice. Thank you. Oh, so as I was saying, uh, a week ago, uh, Rocky, um, aka old man, he's uh, our oldest dog, um, had a seizure. We were all laying in bed, and I was actually like in, I was, I was like in deep sleep. I had like knocked out, mm -hmm. and um, I guess Kim was on her phone. And uh, Rocky likes to go cuddle either next to me or next to her. And he was cuddled up next to her. And then he just kind of, it just kind of happened out of nowhere. He was in deep sleep and his, um, his head was on my shoulders. Normal morning, nothing new. And before that, we didn't see any symptoms. Mm -mm. Everything was completely normal. And out of nowhere, he just, he just completely like flipped. It was like, it looked like he got literally electrocuted he was frozen and to see your dog in that much pain was so like i swear to god i thought he passed yeah it, i was so scared babe like at the moment i didn't think seizure like i didn't know what to think like i was just like oh my gosh like i didn't i didn't even know what to do so i like got i got him and then just try to like i kind of like did almost the, the what you're supposed to do mm-hmm so I, like I got him and I was just like trying to you know trying to like kind of I don't know I guess calm him, down. calm him down in a way but we we're not gonna lie we weren't calm just because we actually didn't know what was going on like we legit thought that Rocky was like passing away it was our first time so we were a little bit more panicked mm -hmm. you guys know the tradition whenever I film here Cooper always tries to steal the food can you pass me a soda baby yeah thanks Kylie. Mm. <sighs> Riley is in this little area where he eats because he's tall so he can actually like touch our food yeah also we just gave them snacks and we try to separate them Riley's done so much better mm -hmm. you guys when we first rescued Riley back in November he if you guys don't know he's from Korea we rescued him all the way from Korea and he came to us so aggressive the thing about rescuing from another country is you kind of just you just meet them and you make it work mm -hmm. and so it's a big commitment before even meeting the dog usually when you go to shelters um you get to hang out with the dog and meet them and see if there's a connection um rescuing overseas you you basically commit before anything else Riley. Riley, come on Down. um he came to us so aggressive, mm -hmm. but he's gotten so better. With training and then, I, and then, and just like continuing to train with him and stuff, like here at home. And then the more he spends, the more time he spends around uh, Cooper, Casper, and Rocky, I guess the more he knows, like, hey, this is my home. These are my brothers. Like, I don't need to worry about food. I don't need to worry about like, where I'm gonna stay, am I gonna am I gonna get kicked out? Like, you know, so a little by little, you know, he's been doing better. And um it's so weird that like just recently he just started being like super cuddly. Uh-huh. And like before, like even like when we would like lay next to him or like hug him and stuff, he would like growl. And now he doesn't. The cheese is so good. I'm not I'm not a huge fan of stuff crust. What? Give me it. Okay. I like I like the um I like you like the pan I like the pan I like the the pan or deep dish oh so good 
I like stuffed crust the most. But um, but yeah, he's been he's been doing better, way better. Cooper's licking my feet. <laughs> and um, but uh, going back to old man, old man is good. Um, they did some tests on him. They said he was healthy, and then the vet said that sometimes it just happens in dogs. Where Which I had no idea. Some dogs just have um, a seizure every once in a while. They said if it happens often, like, you know, more than how many times a month? Once. If it happens more than once a month, then we would have to go and, like, do an MRI and then get him some, like, seizure medication to control it. But after that, like, he's been fine. He's been normal. He's been his normal self. Um, he's pretty energetic for his age, I would say. I, I, I don't know. I would say he's, like, really energetic for his age. His birthday's tomorrow. Yeah. He's turning 10. He's like super like honestly you guys like when when we um when they, when we saw his age we were like oh he's just going to lay around all day which he kind of does but like we had no idea that like he was mm. like energetic and he loves to play. Mhm. He has a lot of energy. Mhm. Mm like he loves to run around like Maybe he's not 10. I don't, I don't know. I mean Maybe he's like 8. Well, you can start like on his right eye, you can kind of start to yeah. see that it's getting cl uh, like cloudy. Yeah, I'm kind of sad about that. But um other than that though, like if we were if like if we were to take him outside and like throw a ball around, like he he's he'll have the time of his life. Yeah, which he does. But we can't go too like ham with him because he he's got a heart murmur. Mm -hmm. So he, so he sometimes doesn't know when to take it easy. So we got to tell him like, "Okay, you need to calm down." Yeah. If we ever go outside, we always make sure that it's like after, mm -hmm. after the sun sets a little bit. Like right, especially right now when it's like a little bit hot, it's not the time to be doing that outside. Hey, their wings aren't bad, babe. Mm. Yeah. Hey, we're missing ranch. Oh, you want some? Do you? Not really. I'm, I'm good. Oh God, old man's looking at me. Mmm. Um. Wait, are we gonna say the exciting news? Oh. Yeah, why not? I was gonna wait, but I think I'm gonna tell my mukbang family first. Okay. You wanna tell them? Um. <laughs> it's kind of weird saying it. So, you guys know that li literally, like, we've been, like, the goal since we got dogs, and especially even more since we got Riley. Mm hmm has always been that we wanted to get a house with a backyard for all of them and like enough space for all of us and with everything that we needed. We've been dying to buy a house. And so, I don't know. Um, one day I was just, what was it? A couple weeks ago, I was on Zillow mm -hmm. and I was just, you know, looking at places and I stumbled across this, uh, stumbled across this like community that is making new builds. And um, I don't know, I just looked at it and I was just like, wow, like this this is actually really amazing. Like it has everything we need. It has a big backyard. Um, it has enough rooms. It has enough it's rooms. Completely Lit new. Completely new. Um, we get to like pretty much go in and literally pick out what we want inside. So we decided to go forward. I know. Ah! And yeah, so basically. We're building um, a house. We're basic, yeah. We're basically building a house. Um, it sounds so weird. It does sound weird. It hasn't hit me yet. Well, we're still we we signed the contract and everything already. Um, and now the next step is we get to design the house, and then our all the paperwork and everything should be finalized. Excuse me, at the end of August. But they told us like, hey, you guys are good. Like you guys yeah. are worrying. You guys are good. If you guys um, don't know too much about the home buying process, which we knew nothing, so don't ever feel alone. Like, I ask so many questions and I sound dumb half the time because no, I don't know anything. But, like, no question is a stupid question, you know? Yeah, you're right, you're right. So, like, if you really genuinely don't know, just, just ask. Just ask. Like, always ask. It doesn't hurt to ask. I, this time last year, Carlos and I knew nothing mm -mm. about home buying. Mm -mm. And... As we, we're so grateful because when we moved into this rental, um, we met 
this we met a girl at that worked at the basically the management company and her name's lisa so lisa, if you're watching this i love you um and lisa introduced us to her husband john who is currently our real estate agent so honestly we never would have moved here we mm -hmm. would have never met lisa or john and john has been oh my gosh the best real estate agent he has been he so nice like he doesn't make me feel dumb not only that but like when we went in for like our first meeting, like our first consultation and stuff like that. Which was what, back in back in January? No, it was before that. It was right it? after that, because I got so upset. Mm, right, right, yeah. Yeah. And basically, like, we were like, oh man, like, we can't, like, I don't know, sometimes you want something and you're just like, man, I just don't know if you can get it. Like, it, is it too expensive? Like, what's going on? And he basically made, he like literally said, oh no, like it's completely possible. Like he, he literally made you feel like, hey, you guys don't worry. Like we can make it happen. He was realistic, but in a way where he was like, what can I do for you? And yeah, and, and it was, that's basically what it was. It was like, oh, you know, like we can make it happen. Like, don't worry. Yeah. Like, it. don't worry. If it's not going to happen now, it's eventually going to happen. He walked us through the whole process. He, um, the team that he works for is pretty big, so they have connections with like lenders because you know you have to go and get a loan. Um, and so we met Albert, who is our loan um, coordinator. Coordinator, and oh my god, Albert and John are just like the dream team. This whole process, I feel like everybody was like, oh, buying a house is super stressful, and trust me, it was at times. Like at times, I got my hopes up. We visited a few homes, and we thought that we were gonna get it. We ended up backing out because we were like too scared or it didn't work out or we saw something that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We never really walked into a home and it felt like, aha, uh -huh, like this is the moment. Right. But, oh my God, John and Albert have been just so amazing. Like, I would do it all over again. Huh. <laughs> it's been the best uh, experience. And the crazy thing is we were actually going to break our lease here um, and move to another townhouse with a backyard because we're like, oh, just don't know if we're ready to buy. And we were gonna make that move. Um, no, it was actually a house. It was a house. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we were considering the townhouse and the house. Right. But um, we were so close. We got approved and everything and I was about to put the down payment. Everything was ready to go. Like, mm -hmm. we were ready. We we're like, sign, sign, sign. We're ready to move in. And for some reason, like, like, to the point we were ready where we called the movers, you guys. Like, we had everything scheduled. And we were supposed to move middle of July, which was last week. And for some reason, it just didn't feel right. And we thought about it. And we're like, you know what? Let's just suck it up. Let's not move. Um, at the end of the year, we can either try to buy or we can maybe rent for another year. It doesn't matter. Like, we'll figure it out. Right. And Carlos and I were just, by that time, we were so done. We were like we're not gonna visit this moving situation again. Like I'm over this topic. And one morning Carlos was on Zillow, which we religiously do every day. It's like, I don't know, like our hobby or whatever. Um, it's a way to manifest as well. Yeah, we, we like to manifest. And so Carlos found um, the property on Zillow and he was like, babe, you have to see this. Like it is absolutely beautiful. And we looked at it, I fell in love with it. Carlos was in love, we're like, okay. And the price was beautiful too. The price was amazing. Oh my God, I loved it. And so I hit up John and I was like, hey, um, I know, like I'm so on and off. John at this time is like, oh my <laughs> no. God, is this girl moving or not moving? But John was like, hey, you know what? Do you wanna go see it? Like, we'll go this weekend. We ended up going, completely fell in love. We um, got all the information, put our deposit down. So since it's a new built, the process is a little bit different um, than buying a house. It's actually a little bit easier because you're not really competing with anybody else. Because basically, if you really like a lot, uh, which is you know your your land that you live on to build the house, you put a deposit down and then you design the house and then you go through with the like all the paperwork and the money aspect. And then you pay the down payment at the end when you're about to move in and they give you the key. So in order to get the keys, they have to, they need the remaining of the down payment. Mm -hmm. The whole process has been amazing. Uh, we're um, actually, we're going into the design process in the next week and a half. Um, but the house is just, yeah. oh, we can't wait to show you guys. Yeah, it's, it's, um, 
we're really, really excited, um, not only for ourselves, but for, for our, our dogs, dogs. Like, and our kids. <clears throat> yeah, and our kids eventually when we have kids. Um, but there's just so much room. And like, uh, I like, it's just like, you guys will see when we show you, there's a lot of room. Like literally when you walk into the front door and you see the hallway. Um, oh man, this it, isn't cut? Oh, I guess not. Oh. Here. Sorry, baby. It's, oh, they kind of like. They like didn't cut it sharp enough. Hey, yeah. you're not eating your cheese sticks. Oh. Sorry. Thank you, babe. Um. Yeah, so the hallway, like literally, um, I don't even know. It almost seems like it's from like this wall to like this wall. It's that's so how, nice. That's how big it is. Like and we're that's doing how much a, space you have. We're doing a one story. Yeah, we're doing one story. We are we're, so over stairs. <laughs> we're so happy. We're so, um, because there was a two story plan. Oh yeah. There when was you, a two story plan that we loved when we saw the pictures in the video, like the video tour. Yeah. But when we saw it in person, we were just like, man, like it just, it didn't hit the same as like the, the one that we, the one that we, uh, were going with. So when you build a house, mm. there's usually, um, a few model homes you can choose from. So you like tour all of them and you say, I want you to build me number one or whatever. So, um, we completely fell in love with the first model home. We originally were going to go for the third one, which was a two story and it was a five bedroom. Five bedroom with an optional uh, six, bedroom. six bedroom if you wanted it. And I was like, oh, that's really nice. But when we toured it, it was so small, very underwhelming. Um, and the reason is because they're building up and um, your backyard is six feet deeper, which means that your house is six feet, like, it's, it's six feet smaller mm -hmm. in a way, like, you know, so it just... Don't get me wrong, the house is still beautiful. Like, it's a really nice home. But we couldn't see ourselves in it forever. But, like, we just didn't get that same, like, oh my gosh, like, yeah. I love this. Like, I love the layout. I love this, this, and that. And so we're just like, you know what? So we went back to, <laughs> we went back to the first model home, and we were like, okay, you know what? This is, I love this. Mm -hmm. Just the layout of it. Um, I mean, it's just... It just had everything, it just had we, everything need. we needed. Like, we didn't need to be too, We didn't need to be bougie and extravagant. We just want a roof over our heads and a place to make memories and raise our kids one day and just, like, live happily with our dogs and our kids. Hi. Hey, Koopy. Um, but, yeah, so, what was I saying? I know, folks. Go over there. The house is just beautiful. We, there is a timeline and we're hoping that it stays the same and mm -hmm. the building process is not delayed or else we would have to, we'll probably end up doing monthly rent here until we can move into that place. But we do hope that it finishes on time. Um, so exciting things are coming. Yeah. They're trying I to just, get us in by Christmas, but I doubt it. Yeah. Cause when we were talking to, um, what you, I forgot what her position is, but she's basically like, she works at the sales office there and super nice she's super nice super nice lady um i loved her she was like very like you know hey you know we're here for you guys uh, that's what i love like that, that's that's what you know that's what like the vibe that you get and stuff from them is and stuff but um yeah like i, I don't know i just i just um we're excited i'm excited and, and like i said it's just it's just crazy how like um you just sometimes have to look around to like find what you actually really want. Some people look for like a year or two years <clears throat> before they find the perfect house for them. Yeah, and and it's like like we said, it's literally everything that we need plus everything that we want. I feel like it's meant to be Which which is always a luxury, you know, when you get something you want, that's always a luxury, you know? Um and so we're just really excited and I know the dogs are they're gonna love it. Sorry you guys, battery died. I had to switch it real quick. <laughs> but yeah, like um, sometimes you just gotta look, you gotta be patient. And I know it's hard for us, like it was hard for us to be patient just because we're like, man, we really wanna get our dogs a bigger place. And and yeah, obviously we want something, something better for us. And I mean, it's just, there's just so many more benefits of owning than to renting. Of course, yeah. And so, 
we just, I don't know, we're just really grateful that this... Well, and our rent here is crazy, ridiculously high. Yeah, so our mortgage is definitely, it's going to be either the same or like slightly lower, which is... But at least we get to own it yeah. in the end. And so, um, I don't know, we're just really grateful that we found this place and I think everything happens for a reason. We got Riley and then that just pretty much kind of led to every single step. I think we... So I think Riley was really... A blessing a in blessing disguise. A blessing in disguise. Because um, I always tell Carlos, I was like, if we would have never gotten Rye, we would still be living at our old apartment because we were so comfortable there. Have I you don't. Seen, have you seen Riley's cut? Oh, no one's seen Riley's haircut except Instagram. He can come out. I just don't want him to steal a pizza. I won't. He ate my freaking um, tacos mm -hmm. once off the counter. I literally went into the garage for five minutes and he went on the counter and ate my taco. It wasn't even five minutes. He went in and out and uh, he stole it in that time. Mm hmm. Riley! Hi, big head. Come here. Say hi. Come here. You guys see him? He got a little haircut. We <laughs> love it. No. Hey, hey, no, uh -uh. no, 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 uh -uh. no, no. Hey, man, what are you trying to do? Stop. Don't leave sit. your food at the edge. Sit. Sit. Honestly, it's dad's fault for Riley, leaving food sit. at the edge. Hey, uh uh. Sit. Sit. Thank you. Oh, boy. Paul? Thank you for Paul. Um, we actually really love his haircut. Oh my god, the whole crew is here. The whole crew is here. Oh man. Um, we actually really love his haircut. We love how he looks short. He looks really good short. We want him a little bit longer from the body, but... Oh, you're gonna love your new place, huh? Yeah. You guys, we're so excited. We're so... Um, we uh, wish it was done tomorrow. So... <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, you, Kim is usually the one that's like a little bit um, anxious when it comes to this kind of stuff. I'm annoying anxious, you but, guys. But Can I like, tell them the first story at when we moved uh, out? Oh, yeah. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I am a very anxious person. Is Cooper biting something? He's biting my beanie. Oh no, that's not good. Daddy's beanies are expensive. Nope, uh-uh. Give me Ah, uh, Cooper, ah. Uh. Thank, Thank you, you, Cooper. Um, I'm a very anxious person. And in this, this past year, I would have to say that I've developed moderate, a, a moderate amount of anxiety. Um, and that's something that I'm working on. And so at first I thought, you know, I'm just an anxious person, but I actually genuinely think that anxiety is definitely there in my personality. So. When it comes to things like buying a house, you know, waiting for things, like really important things that I have to wait for, I literally freak myself out. Like the first time Carlos and I moved out, I'm pretty sure I called the leasing center to see if we got approved like five times in a week. Yeah, even and though, even though, um... Like even though things are okay, I freak myself out yeah. and that's how... That's how the girl at the leasing, Veronica. Veronica. That's how Veronica and I became really good friends. It's because she was like, hey, you're okay, good. You're like, good. don't freak out. Um, but mm. the wings are not that bad, huh? No, they're not. But yeah, so I was so shocked this time because I was not anxious at all for this house. And this person here, oh my mm -hmm. God, you guys. He would not leave me alone. He was like, oh my God, make sure you call tomorrow. Make sure that like the house is still available for us to put a deposit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my God. Carlos, was in you were insane. You feel better now though? I do. I feel yeah. really good. Um, now, honestly, the next step is we just go into the design center and um, we pick out everything we want and uh, we just wait for it to be built. I know. It's just crazy how like I almost cried. We were like seriously, we were we were really looking to move into a house for like about a year. Yeah. And it's crazy how like we ditched the idea and like everything turned around in like two weeks. I know. I'm just so I think it's meant to be. I have this really good feeling about it. It's just crazy how things work out, you know. And I like I said, I think ha things happen for a reason. Things work out. The way they work out for you have a to, reason. Your timing, so. your timing will come. Mm -hmm. I think, I think a lot of the time, especially in the last year, I really compared myself to other people, and I was like, "Why don't we have a house?" I feel this pressure to have a house. Like, why isn't it happening to me? Why can't we find one? Like, you know? Yeah. And, and the moment that I just stopped, like, 
you just gotta let things happen to you in your own time. Mm -hmm. Like life is not a race, basically, you know? Yeah, and I mean, like I said, if you guys are looking for a home and it hasn't happened yet. Get pre-approved first, so mm -hmm. you know how much you can afford. Mm -hmm. A lot of people make that mistake and they go and just look at homes and they don't know how much they can actually afford with their income. Right. Um, but like if you are already, like if you already did that and you guys are looking for a home and it just hasn't happened, maybe the home that you guys are meant to be in just hasn't appeared yet. It's, it's just not available yet. We always said that. You know? Huh. Yeah. Um, I don't know you guys, like it just... I just go back to like whenever we walk in, we're like, oh my gosh, I can see us raising our kids here. I know. And like having family, like family parties and get togethers and Christmas and Thanksgiving and stuff. And I don't know. I'm just, I'm really excited. I'm really happy. Um, I'm really grateful. Um, I don't know. I think, I think it's going to hit me when I see the dogs running around in the backyard, like all happy and stuff. I'm going to cry. Uh huh. We're thinking about doing a house tour. So as of right now, we want to do a house tour, but if things change by then, I hope you guys understand. Um, can you give me that mushroom? It's so good looking. Which one? The one here. This one? Yeah. I can't believe you don't like mushrooms. Mm, can't do mushrooms. Mm, so good. Hey, these wings are actually pretty good. Eat the, eat the ends. They're chewy. Mm -mm. You don't like them? Hater. Did you take my drink? No. Yeah, because my drink is the tall cup. Why'd you put it over here? Stella. Oh, wait. Um, since you guys know Carlos and I love watching Netflix, mm. we, we just finished watching um, In the Dark. They, so good. So good. They came out with new episodes and we finished it in two days, you guys. It was mm, so good. Way better than the first season. Was that season two? That was season two. It's not season three? No, the one we just watched was season two. Wow. Okay, so we watched season one like last, year, like last year. year. Yeah. Dude, time goes by fast. Whenever Netflix comes out with new episodes, I'm like, wait, it's been a year. Where did we watch in the dark? At the at the at the lost apartment. Really? Yes. I remember. I do, because I remember sitting in bed watching it with you all the time. I know we watched you in the last apartment. Oh, the I can't wait season. for you to come out. Season two was good, but it was it just didn't hit the spot as much, you know? Season two of you was not good, I must agree. Season one was way better. Oh, Dead to Me. Dead to Me season two? We, yeah, it, uh, they're making season three because it kind of left off on a cliffhanger. It's so good. But I think they did confirm season three, right? Or something oh. like that. I don't know, but if you, guys ha if you guys are looking for a show on Netflix, try Dead to Me. Dead to Me. You is pretty good. You, why are you? Um, in the dark. In the dark. Ozark. Ozark. Ozark is so good. <laughs> I'm um, so I'm so ready for season four. Oh my gosh. Wait, um, yeah, season four, right? Wait, they didn't discontinue it. No. Oh, okay. But that's one of those shows that I hope only has like six seasons at the most, and they really end it well because yeah. it's gonna be so crappy if they don't. It's like like Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad, I think, had like a beautiful ending. It was five seasons. It was really good. It wasn't the, too long. The ending to me was perfect. I love the ending. Yeah. And I just hope that this show finishes like that. Like, just make it six seasons at the most or something and just end it well. Also, if you're into um, How to Get Away with Murder, oh, the yeah. final season, season six, was really good. The ending, <clears throat> I feel like. Was kind of rushed, right? The ending was a little rushed, could have been a little bit better, but I mean, I'm not a writer, so I'm like, what else could they have done? Okay, no offense, but like, maybe she was a little rushed because look what's going on with Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> oh, what's going on? What's going on? They heard something outside. Oh my gosh, you scared me. What's going on with Grey's Anatomy? How long has it been? It's been like six, it's, what are they, like on 15th season or something like that? Oh Jesus, what more can you do? I don't know, they killed off like Is almost Pretty everybody. Little Liars still on? Oh, that's another show. My sister They're done, was, right? I don't know, but my sister was really into it, and I'm like, it's literally the same thing. Well, here's the thing. When you found out who A was, it's over. Yeah, but you know, I don't know, man. But <laughs> it's just one of those shows that, like, I just hope they end it well. We currently don't have a show right now. We don't. So if you guys have any <laughs> suggestions, go ahead and let us know. I know a lot of people are telling us to watch The Heist. And uh, is that the one where I have to read? Yeah, because it's in Spanish. 
Oh. You guys. Oh, lucky. Uh, like I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why. I don't like watching dubbed shows. Cause it doesn't match. I don't know that. I I have like this thing where I'm like, if it doesn't match, like I can't do it. Cause their mouth doesn't <laughs> match with the top. But I know that's something that's super like picky. But I just I don't know why. It's okay. Do it. But um. Do you remember the first time we watched Narcos, and there was no freaking translation? And oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was I was watching it all like, oh, you know, you understand, right? <laughs> Carlos. Okay, so you know, like obviously Carlos understands and speaks Spanish. So naturally, it didn't occur to him that his girlfriend could not. I was literally watching the show, Spanish. and I looked over and I was like, "Oh crap!" I'm like, you don't get it. <laughs> so he had to turn on the captions for me. Oh, it's so good though. That's funny. But uh, yeah. Hey, like, you know why? I like breadsticks. I, too much. Look, cheese <gasps> crust. Why didn't you tell me? You know I like breadsticks. But I thought I could make it a little bit sexier. Yeah, but look. Whatever. She, look. You don't love me. Stuffed crust. I'll too take much two. cheese, and then cheese. Okay. That's a lot of cheese, man. I'm sorry. You guys should give us a show because we don't have anything to watch right now. Um. Yeah. It, when usually when I don't have anything to watch, I end up watching YouTube. Mm. You know what show needs to come back? Huh? The Handmaid's Tale. They're working on it. I know they need to work faster. No, I'm just kidding. The Handmaid's Tale last season though, whack. Really? It was so slow. Me and you got bored. Oh wait, wait, don't. No. I think it was 10 episodes and the first 8 was super slow and we were about to give up. Mm -hmm. mm. That show's good, but I think what happens with it a lot is that it's super slow and then it picks up and then it kind of slows down and then it picks up. Yeah. Mm. I can't believe you don't eat the ends. I'm judging you hardcore right now. I don't know, but they're good. If you don't eat the ends, Guadi, can I? I'm not gonna eat it because I think that's kind of like I love you so much and we make out and stuff, but I do not want the ends of your wings. You should eat the flats so I can have the wings. I hate flats. Why? You know I hate flats. Do you guys like flats? How do you do it? How? It's just flats. I don't know, man. I like these. But you're wasting them because you don't eat the cartilage. Oh, that's a flat you. That's all you. Flats? I mean, I just like these. I like, what are, What would you call these? The drumsticks? Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that I like. Mm. Hi, sir. I love that our dogs act like we don't feed them. <laughs> they could literally have eaten like two minutes ago. And they'll still come and be like, oh, that looks good. Mm. Oh, you guys, we're excited. I don't know. I just keep thinking about it and I'm just like, oh man. And I know the, I know, I know the next half of the year is probably, it's going to go. It's fast. only five months, babe. It's Technically, go, maybe four. It's going to go by fast, you guys. This, this year has been really fast. It's been a crazy year. Um... I don't know. Do you see things? I don't. I just don't see things going back to normal, normal. Until the year. end of next year. Yeah, like it just. Everybody, we all thought that it was gonna be by like mid this year, and it just hasn't happened. But I just really hope twenty twenty one really makes up for twenty twenty, because this was supposed to be the year. No, honestly, like I don't, I'm not really like I'm not asking much at all. Like I just really. It's just going to be nice to see things go back to normal, seeing people, you know, outside again and like, even though I don't like people in Good. public, like, you know, but like, it'll be nice Babe! to see it. <laughs> I just, he's, I don't. He's not a people person. No, I just, I don't like crowded places, like, and you guys know, it makes like, you anxious. let's all be honest here, okay, we're all here to be honest and transparent, okay, when you get a crowd of people, there's always the one person or two people that does something that you're just like, oh my goodness. Yeah, Carla's not a people person. But I, I naturally don't like crowds because it makes me anxious. Especially you get, you, just, get it, you get anxious a lot. Especially with like things going on in the world, big crowds now make me very anxious. I That's very, yeah, that's sad. I try my best it's to sad, stay away. Yeah, that's kind of sad that like sometimes when you're in a big crowd that like you, that's kind of like in the back of your head. But I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Um, but yeah, you guys. This was good. I'm surprised I didn't eat more. You don't eat that much, babe. 
We always save the wings. Um, were, the wings were good. I thought I thought um, Pizza Hut's wings weren't that good, but they're actually not bad. We can save it for. Uh, oh yeah, definitely. Is this dinner? What time is it? It's lunch. Lunch dinner. Lunch. We we eat a late lunch. You can save it for later or tomorrow. Oh no, I know. Pizza's always better the second day. Mm. Cool. If you want, if you if not, I drop it off uh, for Sophia. Sometimes I put my pizza in the fridge, in the in the freezer, and I eat it like that. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god, you're so weird. <laughs> oh man. All right, friends. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We're glad that we got to catch. That felt nice. It's been a while since we've kind of caught um our subscribers up on things. Yeah. Well, I mean, it felt nice being back on camera. It's been a while. How long has it been since I filmed with you? A very What's long the last time. time I filmed with you? Three months ago? No way. Yeah. She doesn't invite me to eat, you guys, so... I freaking do, want, do, and you, you bail want, on what me. What do you want me to do, you guys? You bail me for fucking war zone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been... You guys, I've been craving pork belly and ramen, and she has not, like... Okay. Oh, wait. Speaking of that, um, if you guys watched this morning's video... Well, the video this morning. Oh, yeah, All yeah, the yeah. outlets in my studio went out, so I gotta call the landlord and get that done, because I don't have lights uh -huh. now. Yeah, when we first moved in here, moved in here, our master bedroom's outlets didn't work, so I guess. So now they're, they don't work again. They took a poop, yeah, last night, so. I don't know. I, I mean, it's just, you know, this place was kind of rushed, so it's like, you know, that happens. Yeah, this place was definitely rushed. That's okay, though. I mean, we just call the landlord and. Uh, We're pretty nice about everything, but imagine a tenant that's like, you know? You know how certain tenants are? Oh, very like, hey, you guys need to be here today. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Right now. Yeah. So we're pretty chill about it. But we are going to go. We love you so much. Leave a comment down below. We can't wait to keep you guys updated on all of the house stuff. Actually, we're going to post more house content on my other channel, which Carlos and I are going to post more vlogs together on there. Um, just, just a lot of different videos to get like, you know, just yeah, it, it'll be more fun So make sure you guys subscribe to my other channel as well I'll have it linked down below because we want to post most of the home updates and like the vlogs and everything there You guys kind of just get more personal with us, which I'm very excited for Yeah, plus um, it's always nice to like show you guys as much of the journey as possible, you know, because yeah, you guys we, have always been here Yeah, you know what I mean? So we want to like, share the journey with you yeah. um so, anywho, we love you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next one. Subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> I was like, I was like, you say bye. I was like, I was like. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. Join the family. Like this video. I would really appreciate it. And leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Whatever. Bye, guys. Bye, my loves.